Yes, YouTube, welcome to the channel, Dreezy Demi here. So in today's video, we're going to watch a guy called Duncan Smith, and the title is Jay Slater Solved, but not by humans. I've never watched this, I don't even know who the guy is. I think he's had a little say on what happened to Jay Slater, so we're going to react to it today, and just see what he said. So let's go. Okay, here we go. Another five-minute rant about how uh, bloody awful the police are in Tenerife. I'm not going to say in the Canary Islands. Um, I know Gran Canaria uh, pretty pretty well, and I don't think it's like Tenerife. I don't know Tenerife as well. Been there a few times. Um, Just want to say, guys, these new people popping up. I've never seen them. Down to like Dan O'Keefe last couple of weeks ago. Come out the blue, never known who he was or who, where he even come from. Even though the case has been dumbed down now and everything's just gone under the carpet and stuff like that. I just see new people making videos now. It's like the older ones have stopped doing it, but these new people have started making more videos and having their little say. But can anyone comment below to let me know? If this guy has been in the game for a while, who he is, what he's about. But this was a real eye-opener for me, just how incredibly inept or corrupt, you pick whichever one you think is more appropriate, they are, uh, the police are on Tenerife. Um, I want to address the issue of the dogs. Um, first things first, I want to address this issue that the Jay Slater case has not been solved. Um, I think it has been solved. I think it's been solved or would have been solved if we could have uh, a means of communicating with the dogs involved. I think the dogs pretty much know what happened and I think the dogs know certainly what didn't happen. So guys, as you know from the videos the other week, from that woman in America who had two cadaver dogs that sat next to that carpet. These type of dogs are smelling human bodies and they sat next to that hole but realised there was no body in that carpet that was rolled up. So yes, we have to understand dogs may not be 100% and yeah, we are going off other types of dogs and the dogs are trained and still have them senses um with bodies and stuff like that and scent in a way duncan is right and wrong to say the case has been solved but no it hasn't because there's still underlying issues with the whole thing and the whole case about jay slater yes we need to put it to bed and stuff like that and it's about time we just dumbed it down a bit and let it drift off but some people probably 80%, 70% of people are still keeping this Jay Slater case alive. And no matter what they say, people are saying, oh, you've been paid off. I've had a few comments and messages saying, you've been paid off. Fucking someone pay me off. Give me 100 grand. I'll fucking, I'll stop making videos all day long. But you know what? Some things are needed to be spoke on when it comes to that, like this video here. We don't know who this guy is. I don't basically know who this guy is. He could have been a person that was talking about Jay Slater for ages. He's only got 203 subscribers on his YouTube channel. So I can't direct myself in a way that's saying, yes, he is a good guy or he's not a good guy. Because there's loads of people that spoke on Dan O'Keefe as well, saying, oh, he went quiet for weeks after that video that he made. Da -da -da -da. So it's one of them. It's a catch-22 again. We don't, we, we don't know yet. Um, and if only they could talk to each other and to us, I think the dogs have a pretty clear picture of what was going on in this situation. I want to talk about the three different types of dogs, or the three different groups of dogs that were involved. And again, I want to mention the things, some of the obvious things that just didn't happen in this case. Let's start with group of dogs number one, the Guardia Civil dogs. Um, I don't recall the Guardia Civil dogs actually doing anything. In my mind today, when I was trying to go through everything I'd seen about the investigative part of this case, the Guardia Civil dogs, I do not remember doing 
anything. I don't remember any footage of their dogs actually sniffing, following, and, and leading. Take your mind back to days one and two, the important days of finding out where Jay was, where he went, where he came from. Let's take the rental car. I don't remember scenes of any dog sniffing around a rental car, going in a rental car, anything like that. In fact, I think the rental car went back to the airport with Ayub, the, you know, a few hours after he had his, uh, his chat. We can't call it an interview, his chat with the Guardia Civil. So the dogs that were involved um, on day one, as far as I know, were never allowed to investigate the rental car. This is what I said as well, guys, about the dog and the cleanup team, the investigation team, the people who do DNA swabs and stuff like that to see if Jay was actually in that car. Um, we didn't get any information on that. We've just got to go with the hearsay to say it may have been checked, it may not have been. Due to it being a private company, there might be certain aspects and rules and regulations because they may pick up, say, they pick up drugs in that car. It might stem over into an, another thing. And obviously, if the Guardia Civil are working alongside these people, like the taxi ranks and stuff like that, are you going to push that agenda, basically? Airbnb. I do remember scenes of some of the Guardia Civil and their dogs outside the Airbnb. I mean, maybe I'm imagining it, but I seem to remember the dogs were kind of all excited and they were like pulling to get in there. I don't remember them ever going in there. I don't remember them coming out of there. I don't remember them pulling the Guardia Civil up the hill to, to follow the track. I don't remember any of that. I don't think they went in there. I have a vague memory of Lucy, whatever you say about Lucy, I think she said something was true. I have a vague memory of her when she was going through a catalogue of things she thought the Guardia Civil and the Tenerife police had failed at. She was saying something like, um, and they never gave the dogs anything to sniff. The dogs were never following a trail. I think she's right on that. I just don't remember these dogs actually following a scent anywhere. So what Duncan's just said then, it seems Lucy may have either slipped up at the start and not realised what she said, or Duncan is just basically going over what he may have heard or may have seen or got some miscommunication within some details that he's heard. Obviously we can't say yes, we can't say no, because I've not seen that fact of Lucy saying this, but I do vaguely remember her saying something that was out of line. So she did question something at the start. I can't remember what it is though, so don't quote me on anything. Um, and then remember the police went down to Los Cristianos and I think they went into the apartment where Jay, Jay was staying. Again, I don't recall any footage. I don't recall any, any description. I don't recall anyone saying they brought the dogs, the dogs had a good sniff around and the dogs started leading them down to the beach. No, I, I've got a feeling they didn't take any dogs with them. So, big complaint number one with the Guardia Civil, it looks like you didn't use your dogs. I know in all the photo ops you're standing with your dogs, but I don't recall your dogs doing anything. That was my recollection. So, again, there's a big red flag there that whoever was in charge basically said, um, you know, we don't need the dogs or let the dogs do what they want to do. I don't know. There didn't seem to be a team effort there using the dogs. Sorry, moving on to group number two. Remember this episode about the Madrid dogs? This big red flag too. They brought some dogs in, I don't know, after a week or two from Madrid. These were specialized, long or vast area searching dogs. Their speciality was to cover more ground than normal search dogs. Does this ring a bell? Yeah, what Duncan's saying, I do remember this. They bought some Madrid dogs in. Um, there is a few polls saying this. Um, but yeah, we can carry on with it. But that made no sense. Because where was Jay's body found? Apparently, in a ravine about a mile away, half an hour walk away from the epicentre of the search, where the, the phone pinged. So it was close. So why were these Madrid dogs called in? 
when they hadn't obviously searched every inch of that area. I can only imagine the captain of the Madrid team arriving and saying, right, okay, we got our dogs, we'll do the long distance search. You have searched every inch around this area, right? And uh, Cipriano Martin, you know, the Guardia Civil guy in Tenerife says, oh, well, no, we haven't searched every inch. I mean, obviously we didn't go down the ravines or anywhere difficult. And I'm guessing the, the captain of the Madrid team was like, well, what the hell are we doing here? If you haven't searched every inch of the immediate area, you don't need us yet. This doesn't make any sense. The only thing that makes sense, again, is this performance. Like, look at us. We're bringing in an extra team of specialists to help this search. But I think Duncan does mention then, basically, I think the dogs were overheated and overused. That's why they got the Madrid dogs in. So I think that's what it was. Maybe they've not got a big dog team in Tenerife to go all over and they had other cases as well in the surrounding of Tenerife like the elderly couple etc. It made no sense if you haven't searched every inch of the immediate area these dogs aren't going to help you. Um, so again I don't recall seeing these Madrid dogs. I heard they came in. I don't recall seeing them um, doing any searching. And then the last group of dogs were the Dutch team that I think Debbie organized to come over and um, they never got into action. I want to talk about that because it was like the day after they arrived, um, Jay was, was, was found, um, you know, was, was found. Let's do it like that. It was found. Um, <laughs> those dogs, we never got to see them in action. But I do remember the Dutch team captain again saying, we will find the body. The body's been out there a month. We're going to find it. Right? Obviously. Um, I remember some people saying they're not going to be able to follow a trail. Well, I looked this up. Uh, dogs can follow a trail after about a month. Depends on the conditions. So it turns out Tenerife is actually ideal conditions for the, that scent to remain. Um, it's not Well, it can be windy there, but it's not rainy. So it is quite possible that had that Dutch team started with their best dogs um, at the Airbnb, Jay scent, if he ever went up that hill, would still be there. But we never found out because all I heard was the Dutch dogs had started um, searching. They were on a trail. They had a, they had to rest. They had some water, and then it was announced that Jay had been found. Uh, and I don't know what the Dutch dogs uh, are trained in because if cadaver dogs can smell a human body f from a f uh, from a graveyard that is over up to 150 years old, I think it was. I don't quote me on that. I think it was either 50 or 150. I don't know, but they can smell up to 150 years. So when them other cadaver dogs did sit down in that video that I was saying at the start with the woman and the the carpet rolled up, that could have been an old medieval fucking war that went on 120 years ago. A body did pass away there. Maybe it was a war or some type of thing in type of Ohio or America or whatever. Maybe fucking Columbus for all I know. Uh, bloody amazing, huh? Um, now here was my thought on the Dutch team. So, assuming Jay had been in that ravine for one month, the fear, surely, among the Guardia Seville was the Dutch team were going to take like three hours to go straight there and find him. Um, and then obviously the world's going to say, what a bloody useless lot the Guardia Seville were. They took one month they couldn't find him. The Dutch team took three hours. That, I think, is, is the explanation of how and why Jay was suddenly found. But let's reverse it. Let's reverse it. Let's say Jay's body was never in that ravine or he'd been, you know, put there 24 hours before so he could be found. That, too, is a problem. Because if his body wasn't there, if Jay wasn't there, presumably this Dutch team, having promised Debbie, yeah, we'll find him, they would have spent God knows how long in that area, and the Dutch team would have said, I'm sorry, we've got the best dogs in the world. There is no corpse here. There is no body here. Jay has never been here. That, too, would have been the ultimate embarrassment for the Guardia Seville. So, um... So, Duncan is right on that part. Obviously, the things that happened, it didn't... Nothing added up at the time, and, and even if the case was that Jay just fell off, why was there so many red flags in the whole case, such as the dogs not finding, and, all, and then as soon as the Dutch team comes into Spain, then 
cut the day later he gets found obviously you've got dtr we can't trust dtr down the rapids but he said he heard these noises in the in the dark in the background this was the night before so what you've got to look at what's what what am i saying here i'm saying this this story of the three dog teams they're all three red flags to me now my frustration is well i'm not a policeman i've worked with police as a translator and interpreter i've worked alongside them i know a little bit about it i am 100 percent sure this case was actually fairly straightforward if we're talking about finding where jay had come from where he went to and what happened to him but it all went wrong in that first 24 hours that first 48 hours when the car should have been sniffed out the airbnb should have been sniffed out we all know the forensic team entered on day 16 that's another red flag but focusing on the dogs it looks like only the dutch dogs the private group if you like were used or going to be used correctly Every when money's involved things get done right i guess Everything the Guardia Civil touched in dog world um, was a failure. It seemed to be like a deliberate failure. Anyway, that's my rant about how the dogs were misused. But the dogs, if they could communicate with, e with each other, would know. They, they could tell us what happened. I'm sure they could. Those Guardia Civil dogs are outside the Airbnb. I remember seeing them. They could tell us. I'm sure they could tell us now if Jay had been in there. Um, but it, it didn't happen. As far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone remember these dogs going in and having a good sniff of the couch and a good sniff of the, the blanket and then running up the hill? I don't remember it. But I'm sure those dogs, if they could tell us, could tell us um, if Jay had been there, when, how long, etc, uh, etc. Et okay, that's enough of me ranting. I'm going to rant tomorrow about another aspect that is... Right guys, so that was Duncan Smith. He did a video on the Jay Slater, as you've just seen. I'm going to link his video in the description if you want to go and watch it, the full video, or if you want to know about him and see what he's about, go to his channel. But yeah, what do you think, guys? Leave your comments below, and we'll get on to another video soon.